Hey, yo, let me ask y'all a question, man. Why do we as a people like to pretend that we're rich and then have nothing? Why do we feel like we have to prove ourselves to people that we are on another level financially or we got it going on? Why do we why do we do that? Is it insecurity? Why? I want to give you a uh, scripture that I use to help my clients build their business, build their lifestyle, build a brand for themselves before they build an image. And the, the scripture is, is from the NIV version is Proverbs 13 and 7. Proverbs 13 and 7 is read. One person tends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. I'm going to read that again. Proverbs 13 and 7. The NIV version. One person pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. We are so focused on building an image that we don't build our brand. We are so focused on building an image to prove to people that we have it going on, that we don't build our brand. And you might ask, what is, what is your brand? It's building your name. It's finding a, say you're, say you're in business or something, say you are in school and you, you're, you're focused on a certain lane you build that brand, you become an expert in that brand. Now you can focus on image. And what we do as people, we so focus on image that we forget to build our brand. Specialize in something first. That's building your brand. Specialize in your career first. Then you can focus on image. Because a lot of us, we, what we're doing is we want to pretend that we got it going on. So we invest all our money into our image Instead of building out and putting our money into our brand, and it's our schooling, it's our career, it's our, our lifestyle, it's, I mean, not lifestyle, but it's our, you know, college, whatever it is. We're so focused on image. I got to look nice. I got to do this. And we never invest in our mindset. We never put nothing in our minds, but we put it on our back with clothes and shoes because we're trying to impress people to make them feel that. We have more than we really have. Build your brand, then build your image. Build your brand, then build your image. I look at, you know, look at Jay-Z. Jay-Z had to build a brand before he built this big image. Little Wayne had to build a brand. They had to spend time in the studio, mastering their craft, mastering their craft, mastering their craft. Now they can do the image. Now they can get in front of you and show you the money, the cars, the clothes. Because they have done it. I'm talking about successful rappers. I'm not talking about these old okie doke person who just trying to build an image, damn build a brand. Nah, I'm talking about real people who really made it in the industry. They built that brand first. They was in the studio day for day, day for day, grinding, 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 grinding. And now you look at Jay-Z. Jay-Z don't wear chains no more because he's so confident in who he is. He don't have to show his image no more. He don't got to show his wealth no more. He don't. So I'm telling you today, I'm telling you today, I want you to focus more on building your brand. Focus on a certain target area of ex and get an expert at that area to build wealth. Then build the image. Buy all the nice clothes. Buy all the things. I'm not telling you not to buy clothes, but I'm saying we're spending too much money on clothes because we're trying to look rich. We're buying an outfit every time we go out. But when somebody tells you invest in the, spend some time in your mindset, how to grow your mindset, how to get your mind to a place of growth, you don't want to invest in that. Buy this hundred dollar course so you can, so it can it make you, make you sharp in the area of expertise. And you say no, but you'll go, we go, this is what we do. We'll go to the Crab Lake spot and drop $100 and $200. Wealthy people invest in their mindset, their brand, before they invest in their image. 
I remember this guy years ago when I used to have my detail shop. This white guy, rich white guy, he told me, he said, Rod, I want you to, I want you to look at something. I said, he told me, he said, I want you to go to Mount Pleasant and look at how those, how they dress, how the, how the boys dress, how the men dress. Now he said, I want you to go to downtown and see in the hood, the projects, you know, and see how they dress. And I thought about it. And he said, the ones downtown, they're wearing all these name brand clothes, the $100, $200, $300 Jordans. But you go to Mount Pleasant, they're wearing these collar shirts with flip-flops. But who do you think has the most wealth? The point he was making to me was, they built the brand first, then they built the image. Because if you go to Mount Pleasant, those guys have nice houses. They have nice boats. Not saying that they got it going on, but they have more substance because they built the brand first. They have high, high income because they built the brand first because it ain't cheap living over there. They built their brand. Then they focus on the image. So what I'm telling you is we got to spend this. Is what we got to stop doing. We got to stop teaching our kids this process. We got to stop teaching our kids to dress up and don't have nothing in our, in our, on our minds. We'd rather take our kids to the mall and say, let's go to the library. Oh, man. We'd rather take them to the mall to buy a $100, $300 uh, outfit and tell them, let's say, let's go to the mall and read some books because this going to make you this going to make you more wealthy. Your brand, your, your mindset is what's going to make you wealthy, not your image. But we're so focused on image, trying to impress people that we got it going on, that we got, we, we looking rich, but yet have nothing. And, and the wealthy are looking, pretending like they're poor, but have great wealth. That's where I'm, I'm at that part where I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to, to I don't got to prove to you what I have. I want, I want, I, I don't got to prove it. I, I, my thing is I'm building generational wealth and it, it takes time to build generational wealth. And so that's what I'm working on. I'm not working on, I'm trying to please you, the how I style, how I weigh, what kind of car I drive. We're so caught up in what people drive. You know what I tell people when people get envious of somebody who have a new car? Get envious of the car payment that they have. Yeah. Whenever you feel jealous of somebody who has, oh, they got a, oh, they ain't got a Mercedes and she know they, Get jealous of the car payment that they have. Get jealous of that too, because that comes with the package. That comes with the car for most times. If you ain't paying for it cash, get jealous of the insurance they got to pay every month for having that new car. I'm telling you, build your brand, then build image. Success is not an overnight thing. Build your business. Then focus on trying to focus on, you know, putting all the images and all that other stuff. Build your business first. Invest in your business. Invest. I mean, putting your money into your business. Then you can put it in the clothes. But we do it backwards. We invest in clothes and forget about our business. Focus on the target market, man. Focus on something and become an expert at it. An expert at it. And then you can focus on the other things. What I did with, uh, the last couple months, I have I actually have a academy. It's called Wisdom of Finance Coaching Academy, and I'm inviting you if if you want to you, if you want to be a part of that. I'm telling you, I I use biblical principles to help people build wealth. My goal, this is my goal. I I want to create more six figure earners in business. That's my goal. I want to create six six figure earners in business. That's why I'm, I'm, that's why I started my academy because I want to create six figure earners in business. I want you to be, I want you to get rich. I want you to get, and I want you to be a million dollar investor. That's one of my slogans. I want you to become a million, uh, build a six figure business to become a million dollar investor. That's my slogan for my business. Wisdom and finance coaching academy. And I want you to be a part of that. So if you're interested, inbox me. And I'm also, I have a training program coming up. On June 22nd at 7 o'clock. Register for it, man. 
I'm going to give you biblical principles on how to build wealth. How to build wealth. How to build a business. Yeah. So join me.